We're going to cover the procedure of checking shoulder alignment and parallel of tooling when it's installed on the mill using a straight edge. You can purchase one from Sterrett, which is a precision ground straight edge. Many will use a scale for the same purpose. When we rebuild a stand, we want to make sure that the top shoulder is parallel with the bottom so that our tooling lines up. If we use a common straight edge to do this, it's very difficult to see if the top shoulder or the bottom shoulder is sticking out farther from each other because we don't have a lot of real estate here for the straight edge to make contact with. But if we take a pair of sizing rolls, which most of the time are the same width, and we use them as fixtures by sliding them right up against the shoulder, making sure the shaft are parallel with the outboard stand on, and now we can put the straight edge up against there and we have much more real estate here to see what's going on. We have four contact points here that we can uh, use to make sure that we have shoulder alignment and parallel of the tooling. I'll exaggerate a little bit where we can see that the top one will be sticking out farther. If you want to make sure and see how we do it, we simply take a depth mic or other similar means, find out what the offset is, correct it, make sure it is the same what, what we need for the shoulder to the machine surface from the prints of the manufacturer and line it up accordingly. When the tooling is mounted on the mill, typically we have our inboard spacers mounted, our tooling, our outboard spacers, and of course our outboard stand. And now we can not only check for shoulder alignment, but also for parallel of the rolls. When we go to both sides like this, we can see we have some rock on this side, meaning we're touching on the two inside edges. Over here, we're touching the top and bottom, which means the top shaft is not parallel with the bottom. If we make the individual adjustment with the outboard tower to make sure the shaft is parallel, we can now get even reading on both sides. For those roll spaces that are very tight and narrow, where we don't have a lot of room between the roll and the bearing block, we can simply use a drill rod for a straight edge it makes it very easy to get in there and do the same job as we just explained earlier. To check the accuracy of a drill rod, simply roll it on a flat surface like a ground plate to make sure the accuracy of the drill rod is maintained.